All right, so I've, I've finished up the mods on the uh, logic board, which supplies the Z um, or the intensity waveform. Um, also, I'm just kind of looking at the whole thing now with all the different mods, power supply mods, the vertical, the horizontal amp mods, just everything all combined. And one of the things I noticed subjectively um, was that the when you start doing this kind of stuff where I'm I'm chopping everything and I've got four inputs all put in there at once and I've got very dissimilar um, frequencies set up um, for the um, for you know horizontal um, that what really ends up happening is that the that the that the the waveforms that are separate really feel very separate um, you know when you start you know when the very slow background, the very slow waveform does not in any way affect the other waveforms. So they're very, they're like, they're almost like dual beam. They're almost, they're very, very independent and very solidly separate um, from, from what's going on. Before there'd be some little interaction where you know when it was when it was doing all the x y you know when it was doing all the chopping between them that some of the some of this waveform would interfere a little bit with this time and it's very minor interactions but those are all gone. Um, and now you can really 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 they're very independent um, even when you get into you know big differences in, in, in your sweep rates um, they just end up being very 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 independent. Um, and um, so it, it's subjective, you know, you can still do all your measurements, you know, that you or do any of the observations that you would have, uh, you know, going any other way. Um, but now it's just much, it just seems much more stable and much more, um, much more independent of everything, no matter how much you do at once, it's just very stable now.